Brando, I finna slam dunk. Get big on you fake pumps. That bump in the fake pump. Bitch, fell for the pump fake. Got him talking like first take. Get it right on the first take. Hit the hole in the first. I got some shit for you to talk about, though. First thing first, I want to talk about LaMelo Ball. Yeah. How you feel about LaMelo Ball? His first his first game in the NBA uh, preseason, zero points, um, 10 rebounds. Was it six assists? Six or four. Probably. Look it up. Because I want to be, I want to be, I want to be so. Uh, oh, God, they have 10 rebounds and four assists. That nigga bap as fuck. <laughs> Me look all that up to say that. I had to make sure you, you you made me look those stats up just for you to say this nigga bap zero points. Sure. Hey, and and tonight literally right before we start recording, he just made his first uh, NBA bucket. It was a little pass on the side. He pump fake, took a dribble, stepped to the side, made a three for his first NBA basket. Oh, he made a three. Yeah, for his first NBA basket. Okay, okay. <laughs> What you mean? Okay, he might not be that bad. <laughs> he only made one three. Like I can check the stats right now. Two or six from three point. All right, this nigga bad. Right when I say he, first I'm gonna tell you why he bad. If you watch this this nigga play in the first game, every last play he made, no, I'm not every play. He made one play from half court. He made one play from half court when he did that shit like like that. <laughs> He did that shit. Okay. He, the he magic don't. shit. Yeah, that shit. That was the only. Yeah, that was the only shit he did. Other than that, bro, that behind the back was great too, though. The behind the back. Let me get one. to that. Give me get to that. All right. That play, that behind the back shit. We did like that. Yeah. That play and all <laughs> the other plays combined that he made had had one thing in common. They were all on fast breaks. What does that tell me? That tells me Lamar, Lamelo Ball can't beat nobody off the dribble in one on one basketball. The one time he beat somebody off the off the dribble, it was, it was a power forward. You're gonna be the power forward off the dribble. So why do you think he didn't score? I just told you why he can't beat nobody off the dribble. So he's not fast enough. No, he's not. He's too slow. Mm. He had 12 points tonight, though. You right, man. Had some nice alley oops. They threw him to him. Nah, he threw him. This this is what I'm gonna tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna throw some alleys. If you got bunnies, he's gonna he gonna he he gonna he's he passed the ball so much, he gonna get his assist. Because he passed the ball a lot. He, he a passing ass nigga. He's just gonna pass the ball. And if you get if you keep passing, and like I said, he touch it every play. And so if you just keep passing, he get rebound and he get rebounds too. Yeah. Get rebounds, pass, get rebounds. Ten rebounds pretty good. Yeah, but as you see, he don't he don't got two yeah. right now. But what quarter is it? Oh, game over. Yeah, two rebounds this game. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is what you're you going to get from LaMelo Ball, his rookie year. You're going to get 11 points a game, 8 assists a game, and 8 rebounds a game. All right, so how you feel about his brother getting dropped from the Pistons before he even started? You mean uh, Detroit? Yeah, Detroit Pistons. I don't know, man. The NBA competitive. I don't know. Sometimes they should at least gave him a chance, though. They right? should have gave him. They should have gave him a chance. Like I Bro, said, he had a non guaranteed contract too. A nine day. A non guaranteed. Oh, so he didn't get no money. Fight though. Ooh, it could have been a publicity stunt, mm-hmm. or it could have been a situation where, like I said, well, like I want to say one thing about. Sports. I think we jumped the gun too. We, we were like, Levar Ball, the best dad ever. He got all his kids in the NBA. Not no more. He is the best dad ever. He got all his kids in the NBA. If he got in there once, man, one thing about the league. Jello, you, Jello ain't on no NBA team. One thing about the league, once you get your foot in the door, it's easier to get back in the door. You think so? I know so. That's how sports work. Just just like jobs. Once you once you step foot in the NFL, it's easier to get back in the NFL. Just like college football. Once you start playing college football, it's easier to get on another college football team. It's easier than it's easier than than got it. Well, you know what? Nah, he might he might just be just good. You know, Bruh, so um, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, and once you know how the shit work and you know how to run, I got and you, you get bro. your foot in the I got door. You, I got yeah, you. yeah. So who do you think is the best ball brother so far? Because Lamelo Ball Levar is said Melo. Lamelo is the best. He the best. He the best. But what? Like I said, I'm gonna tell you. He, he I think ain't. I think he look immature on the court, bro. 
Like he got a lot of maturing to do as far as his game. His game's gonna have to d- develop a lot. Like he needs to get touches as much as he can. They gotta utilize this. I just this, told this you what he was to develop him. I just told you what he is. What? Eleven points, seven maybe eight assists on the, if if he, if he's good. I would let's just say eleven eleven points, seven assists. Is this off the bench or is this starting? He gonna start. Okay. And eight rebounds, eight or seven rebounds. But that's where he's gonna be throughout his career. He never gonna be a twenty point point guard. Never. Mm. That's a strong take, Blue. He not a bucket, bro. <laughs> you ain't going for it, bro. He not a bucket, bro. He ain't quick enough, and you can't teach that. He ain't quick enough, and his shot not good enough for him to be a bucket. You feel me? He got the size so he can play defense and he can get rebounds and he can pass the ball. You know what I'm saying? But he not a bucket. He does not have these shot. That half court shit he was doing in high school, you know what I mean? He didn't get that much better at shooting the ball. You know what I'm saying? He got a little bit better, but nah, bro. To dominate this league, bro, you need quickness or you got to be a shoot the fuck out of that goddamn ball. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, you can check out the full episode on www.patreon.com backslash sit down slim. And you can also get some more exclusive podcasts that only drop on Patreon. And also check out the website shotswithslim.com to support the channel and cop some merch, man. Appreciate y'all for listening, man.